Jose Jesus. In the previous video, I introduced the concept of Doras in Mahjong and what they are and how they are different from Yakus. In this video, you'll learn how to get more Dora using Khan and whether you should even be doing that in the first place. First of all, a Khan is a set of four identical tiles. However, in the winning conditions, it counts as a triplet. Furthermore, there are also three types of Khans. The first one being the Ang Khan or Concealed Khan. In order to get a Concealed Khan or Closed Khan, you must get all all four tiles by yourself. Okay. This means that despite you making the con call, your hand is still technically closed and you can still reach. call reach. The second type of con is called a daiming con or open con. This is when you already have a triplet and somebody throws the fourth tile. You can then take that tile and call an open con. Obviously, because you have taken someone's tile, your hand is no longer closed and therefore you void your ability to call reach. The final type of con is called a shou ming con or added con. This is when you get the fourth tile of a triplet that you've obtained via a pawn. And of course, because you called pawn in the first place, your hand is no longer closed and therefore you cannot call reach. Okay, so now that you know the three types of cons, let's take a look at why it's important to distinguish them and what they actually do. First of all, take a look at the Dora indicator and note how it only shows one tile. Every single time you call Khan, the next tile gets flipped over. However, different types of cons have different ways of flipping the tiles over. For instance, when you call a closed con, you can immediately flip the next door tile over. This is as opposed to an open con, which requires you to draw a tile, then discard a tile before you're allowed to flip the next door tile over. This difference is important in two major ways. If I call it a closed con, for example, and one of the tiles in my hand becomes a Dora, I might not want to throw that tile away because I know it's a Dora. However, if I called an open con, I might have thrown that tile because I didn't need it. Only after I threw it would I realize, oh, that became a door and I just threw the door out. Oh, well, I lost the door. But everybody else on the board who has not discarded might also have that tile and be like, oh, hey, he just threw a door, but I have like two of those doors. I can pawn that tile and get three door. And another way this is important is, let's say I have this hand and I'm on tenpai, meaning I'm looking for my winning tile. And I've also called Richie too. Now I get the fourth five ball, so I call Khan. Because my hand is entirely closed, it's a closed Khan and the Dora is flipped immediately. And because I called Khan, I now draw another tile called the Dean Shan tile. And bam, would you look at that? The Dean Shan tile is my winning tile. This means I get the bonus Yaku, Dean Shan Kaiho. So let's calculate how many points I get. One Han for Richie, one Han for Tsumo because it's a fully closed hand, one Han for Tanya or all simples, and finally, one Han for Din Shang. I have a total of four Yakus totaling a base of four points. Now let's add the Dora. The first Dora indicator is a Chun, so that's a miss, I don't have any Dora. But look, because we called a closed Khan, the second Dora is available, and it's four ball. So that means plus four Dora, because I have four five ball. And also, because we called Reach, let's take a look at the Uradora. And look, we got super lucky. There's two four balls here, which means it's a total of plus eight Dora from the Uradora. So our total points now is four Han base, plus four Dora, plus eight Uradora, totaling 16 Han. The Dora that we received from one closed Han is three times more worth than the original hand itself. Sounds too good to be true, then take a look at this. The indicator says south and white, meaning the Dora is west and green. So my man's here got Dora, 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 Dora. And then for the Ura Dora, he gets Dora, 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 Dora. <laughs> giving him 15 Han. <laughs> Now, on the other hand, pun not intended, if I have these three five balls here and somebody else throws the fourth one and I decide to call Khan so that I can try to get Dinshan, let's check out the score. Nietzsche, nope, we don't have this because it's an open hand. Sumo, nope, open hand. Han Yao, check, one Han. Dinshan, check, one Han. So the base score is now two Han. Now, let's add the Dora. So, first Dora is a Chun, that's a miss. We have no Dora. What about the second one? Well, because we did an open Khan, we can't flip it until we discard the next tile. And we never discarded the next tile because we won. So I will not get the second Dora here. And because I opened my hand instead of calling Richie, I now also no longer have access to the Ura Dora. So my hand went from 16 Han down to just two Han. Ouch. 
Next, I want to get into when you should call Khan, but before that, I think you need to know these three little things. First thing is that in the previous video, I mentioned a Yaku called Chang Khan, or robbing a Khan. Actually, only one of the three Khan shapes are vulnerable to Chang Khan, and that is the added Khan. So if someone's waiting for a five ball, and I have a pawn of five ball, but I get the fourth five ball myself, and then I turn that into a Khan, I will be Chang Khan. Bruh, you stupid. However, if I get all four or five balls completely by myself and I call a closed con, I cannot get Chan Khan and this person has no possible way of winning because all the five balls have been put into my con. The only exception to this rule is a very special hand called Kokshimusu, which allows you to run someone despite them doing a closed con. You can learn more about the Kokshimusu and other Yakumans in this video up here. Next thing to remember is that there are two Yakus related to cons. These will directly increase your base score. The two Yakus are Sankanzu and Sukanzu. Sang Kanzu is when you have three Kans and you win. This will increase your points by two Han. And the other is Su Kanzu, which is the rarest possible hand in the entire game. That's when you win and have four Kans in your hand. The final thing to note is that if there are four Kans called by multiple people, the game will abort due to a rule called Su Kan Nagare. The only way the game can continue to be played while all five door tiles are flipped over is if only one person calls all four Kans. Now that we have a full understanding of how Khan works and the various things you can do with Khan, I think it's a great time to ask when should we actually call Khan? And the answer is very simple. Basically, never. Because once you call an open Khan, you void your own ability to call Richi, which means that the potential Uradora that you just unlocked goes to everybody else who still has the ability to call Richi. Furthermore, when you do an added Khan, you run the risk of getting Shang Khan. Even though that's extremely rare, why would you subject yourself to that risk for little to no benefit? The only times you would call open Khan is when you are feeling extremely lucky that you would either get a Din Shan or you feel confident that you're gonna get all the Dora or you think you're somehow gonna get Sang Khan or somehow you end up getting Su Khan All four of the reasons that I mentioned to go for an open Khan are based entirely on luck and you have zero control over this. And hold on, even if you get four of the same tiles completely concealed, it may not be the best idea to immediately call Khan anyway. And there's two reasons for this. Let's say for example, I have one, one, one and then I get another one. If I was going for a full flush, for example, I could have gone 1-1-1 one, 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 and then have this extra 1 before 1-2-3. One, this would make two sets and progress me to actually winning. Had I called a con on this one, I'd only have a 2-3 left and I'd be missing a set here. The second reason to think twice before calling a con is that you give your opponents extra data on what your hand contains. For example, take a look at my hand right now. I'm clearly going for Tanya here, it's closed so I can call a reach. My maximum base points is two Han. But whoa there, hold on a second. My opponent calls a closed con and it's door <laughs> four for himself. The next door tile gets flipped over and it's gonna be an east. Nobody's discarded an east yet. This dude is sitting on the east seat. I have a lot of reason to suspect that this guy also holds the east. So when I draw the next tile and I get this east, I really don't want to be throwing this east lest I deal into this guy trying to preserve my two Han hand. Therefore, instead of pursuing Tan Yao, I will completely surrender my hand and focus on not dealing into this guy. Yes, there is a strategy element in learning when to play defensive and how to go defensive. So to learn how to read other people's hands, click this video next.